welcome to another one of our talks from Youth Science Forum. Well, we are the Youth Science Forum. And today's talk will be about the golden ratio, something mathematical. It will be presented by Mohamed Azim. Uh, hello, okay. Uh, hello everyone, and very good afternoon today. Uh, my name is Muhammad Azim bin Anwar and I'm from L61. Uh, today, this afternoon, I'm going to present uh, one, one interesting topic which is called as the Golden Ratio. Okay. Uh, Alright, what is the Golden Ratio? Golden ratio is a special number, an irrational number, uh, similar to pi, the digits of the golden ratio go on forever without repeating. To be exact, the value of golden ratio is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, which gives us 1.618. So here's a brief history of the golden ratio. As you can see here, but the fascination with the golden ratio is not confined just to mathematicians. So we can actually find the golden ratio in any parts of field studies such as biology, art, music, history, architecture, psychology, and even mystics. So what's the idea behind this? The idea behind the golden ratio is the longer part of a line, which is A plus B, divided by the smaller part of the line, which is B, the longer part of the line, which is A, divided by the smaller part of the line, which is B, is equal to the whole line divided by the longer part. So, if you divide the long part of the line with the small part of the line, you get 1.618. And if you divide the whole length by uh, the longer part of the length, you get one point six one which is the golden ratio. So in my opinion, the golden ratio is the most irrational number ever. This because if we can find and we can uh, say that it is irrational by using this stats. So if you guys have any calculator now you guys can start calculating it. Okay, uh, you can use any number after you have your own number, so let's say 2, you divide, uh, divide 1 by your number, which will give you 0 0.5, and then after that you plus your, uh, your step 1 with 1, then you get 1 plus 1 over divided by 2, which gives you 3 over 2. Now that will be your new number. So you get your new number, repeat with step 1. And then you're going to do this all over and again until you get 1.618. So, yeah. Golden ratio is the most irrational number because of this step. So, okay, the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, surprisingly, golden ratio and this sequence share a special relationship. So, Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and 34. So, to know the next number, we can add up two numbers before it. So, before we get 34, we need to add up 13 and 21. So, we get 34. And to get the next number, 21 plus 34 will give you 55. So, the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence is proven to have a close relationship. Here's the relationship between the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. So, if you divide 5, if you divide five by 3, you get 1.6666666. And if you divide 55 by 34, you get a number almost approximate to the golden ratio, which is 1.618 Okay, before we go on to the applications of the golden ratio in real life, we need to understand a very important part of the golden ratio, which is the golden rectangle. Okay, 
nature, a flower, and yes, nature, <laughs> apple. <laughs> so yeah, this golden ratio, a bit golden ratio, makes the shape of our painting looks more pleasant. And yes, that's all I can give to you. Is there any questions to ask? Uh, about this spiral, okay. about this spiral, uh, this spiral is called the golden logarithmic uh, golden logarithmic spiral uh, I don't know how to explain it because it's very complicated uh, yeah. any questions? Yes, sir. in your application you list out one very important thing the application of this ratio in the stock market. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> stock price goes up, retrace, come back. Very often they follow this ratio as well. <laughs> and looking for the analyst on the stock market, they use it. I wonder such an important thing that what is this up here. Anyway, thanks for your time. Uh, thank you for listening to this talk. I'm sorry for the technical problems. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming.